We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Mike's been missing from the bench for quite some time. Just heard that he will not be back today. Guys, trying to go to Greening. Another face-off because the puck went out of play into the player's bench. Toronto's got another face-off win. Dumped in. The Blackhawks shifting gears back in their own end. He's got this one, and they're after him. He scores! And that is number 20. He had people chasing him down on a breakaway, but he found a way to score. Oh, he can't get his pad down quick enough to make this stop. Really good shot, as you mentioned, Eddie. I think that's one he should probably stop. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Just spoke to a representative from the road team. They're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injured player won't come back. Heavy hit right in the middle of the ice. When you step up like that, that stops. They score! Taves! Toronto's collected another victory on the faceoff. Hunwick's feeling all of that solid hit. He's just going to slowly glide to the bench. By number 23. Time of the goal. 14. Icing is nullified thanks to the hustle on that play. A shot. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Chicago's gotten a minor penalty. The call is goalie interference. Goaltender looking for the puck, trying to do his job, but he was not able to because he was knocked off his feet. The power play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net. You got it, Eddie. Let's watch to see if you're a prophet here. He's all alone. Eddie got that one. Close in play. Snaps a shot. Oh, and a great opportunity denied by that pass. He won't avoid something for doing that. Great pressure there, Doc. I thought for sure there was going to be a goal. Tie up and a help from the winger. Shoots one. Turned away. Oh, it's there. Squeezed for a whistle. Lambas can't do much wrong with the puck these days. His point streak will continue. We get a glimpse at it here as he has been a dynamic player both with and without the puck, whether scoring a goal or setting a play up. Defensive zone win. The Blackhawks in their own end, controlling play now. In all alone, score! A shorthanded goal yet again. He had that look of no doubt he was going to score on that breakaway. Toronto's got it off the draw at center. Gets in. What will he do? Chicago setting things up in the defensive zone. Scooped up by Brent. Dogged determination there by P.K. Subban. Corralled it again. Snapping a pass to Bozak. Let's it go. Missed. The Hawks leave their own end. Hawk now possessed by Brennan. That one's cornered on the dump. Laid on to Hunwick. Can he generate something from there? And he flies it back in. Looks ahead to start something. Chicago survived it. Back even. Gets that pass after he turned it over himself. That sounded like a car crash, guys. He's slowly gliding back to the bench. Crashed 
in. Gathered in by Hunwick. One minute left. He shoots. Score! <laughs> Toronto's got that one. Now what? Scored by number thirty-eight. Time of the ball. Blue line control. Six seconds. Toronto's in their own end, moving the puck. Price puck to play, so he does. Twenty minutes have been played so far. One coach won't need to say much. The other will say plenty. Take a look at the shots on goal. There were a lot of them that period. Twenty-four for Chicago, and none for the Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs are suffering on the goaltender. For him, there are great days, there are average days, and then there's today. More in a moment. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? Chicago's up, Doc, but I've got to imagine inside that locker room, they're probably wishing they would have capitalized on a few more of the opportunities they had in that first period. Period two has started. Maybe the gap can be closed a little bit this period. And offside is called on the play. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Just spoke to a representative from the road team. They're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injured player won't come back. Breakaway. Score! He's got his second of the game. Chicago's just continuing to hammer away on the shot board enormous, and the score is large. Taves has a face-off win, another in a long list. That pass wouldn't work. He was just bumped off at the last set. Morin's got to shovel it out of there. Icing nullified by Oshie. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Two goals. Cut his glove on it. Lugged along the line. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face. Toronto's got another face-off win. Gains the zone. Got a piece of it. Might and they square off. System. It's an easy call. Sometimes you bite off more than you can chew. That one ended just how you thought it would. Seems a little disoriented after losing that fight. He's taken a few moments here. Breakaway! Outstanding stop! 
good attempt, but a weak stick. Chip to Holland. Passing one off now to McCollum. One into another. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Gains the blue line. He's in! The Blackhawks in possession as they travel in their own end. Big chance! Score! Chicago's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. The draw, the tie up, and his team prevails. Slides it to the point to Brennan. Stays on side to the middle. And play stop because of an offside. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Toronto's defensive play has been atrocious. It's like they've never played together. Their goaltender's the only guy keeping the puck out of the net. I understand what you're saying, Ray. There's no denying that, but much of this game lies ahead. Let's just see. Gets in, looks over his options here. Block that one. Puts pads together and got the whistle. Clean win on the draw. Back in his defensive end to get it. We had a sense this was going to happen. So here they go. And this fight is over with one huge surprising punch. Offensive guy and a guy that's offensive with his fighting abilities. Sometimes it feels like you're punching the wind, but when you're down this much, you have to try and change something. Chicago penalty to number 23. Nice face-off work. Looking to Riley. Penalty. Seven minutes, 48 seconds. Out in the slot. Score! Another shorthanded goal. Chicago's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He'd better be thinking about getting number three. Toronto's got that neutral zone faceoff. He's in on an onside play. Pitching this one to Brennan. Rifled back in. Slid to Polak. Directing that one. Uh oh, will it be or won't it be? Well, when you act like that, Doc, there might be a chance something else happens after that. The Hawks continue on at center. Enormous hit. This guy hasn't given up. What a hit. Pushing it on up the wing. And he is reefed. Puck is thrown to Bozak. And the whistle. Puck into the bench area. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. The Maple Leafs are going to have to juggle their lineup. Their injured player will not return. Taves keeps that face-off streak going. That's a good pass save. They score! A short-handed goal for multiple times in this game. He found this puck in mid-flight and whacked it to the front of the net, and he's rewarded with a goal. Have built a whopping lead. Let's see if they can build on it.